and they're off in the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup presented by Lane's End. Proctor's Ledge and Daddy's Little Darling from the inside. New Money Honey far outside. La Coronel from in between horses coming forward now to put ahead in front. La Coronel to take an early lead as they head for the first turn. Daddy's Little Darling up close in second and a half length. New Money Honey goes third on her outside. Proctor's Ledge fourth back toward the rail. Joined there by Unforgettable Philly who's toward the outside in fifth. Dream Dancing is sixth. Uni is in seventh as they make the move around the turn. Madam Dance a lot is eighth. Conte Partiro is ninth. Bo recall against the rail, 10th and last, opening quarter in 23 and 4 fifth seconds. La Coronel, the leader. La Coronel leads at a length and a half onto the back stretch. New Money Honey goes second by a length to Daddy's Little Darling in third. Unforgettable Philly, fourth by a head, just outside of Proctor's Ledge in the fifth position. Uni toward the center of the pack, one lane off the rail in sixth. Dream Dancing seventh toward the inside. Flanked there by Madame Dance a lot. Beau Recall and Conte Partero last, but right there with the rest as they move for the far turn. First half mile up in 48 and three fifth seconds. La Coronel, the leader by a length and a half. New Money Honey is second on the outside by a head. Daddy's Little Darling still tucked away in third around the far turn. Unforgettable Philly is in between horses. Uni is on her outside. Uni angles wider at the top of the stretch. Now goes to fourth. Five lengths off the lead. Has to catch La Coronel. Daddy's Little Darling second. Still two lengths off the lead. New Money Honey third. Uni is in fourth. Proctor's Ledge is fifth. Final furlong of the Queen Elizabeth the second Challenge Cup presented by Lane's End. La Coronel hanging tough chased all the way by Daddy's Little Darling, who's going to make a final run at her. La Coronel with the lead. La Coronel and Jose Lescano to win it three parts of a length. Daddy's Little Darling was second, one minute, 48 and four-fifth seconds. The official winner of Keeneland's featured ninth race, 34th running of the Grade 1 Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup presented by Lane's End, six La Coronel. The winner owned by John Oxley, trained by Mark Cassie, Jose Lescano, the winning jockey. La Coronel, a three-year-old filly by Colonel John out of Listen by Chester House. Bred in Kentucky by Kim and Rodney Nardelli, Susan Bunning, and A and B Jaffries. The nine furlongs over the Hagen course, 148 and 4. Now the trophy presentation for the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup presented by Lane's End. Presenting the trophy, Mr. and Mrs. William S. Farish. La Coronel, under a good ride by Jose Lescano, takes down the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup, trained by Mark Cassie. Mark's not here. Uh, David Carroll is here. I'll talk to David in a second. But, Jose, was it uh, planned to go right to the front, or did uh, you just do that on your own? Yeah, I, I think, you know, I want to go to the leader. You know, she's very comfortable when he's there. You know, last time I ride it, you know, she's kind of jumped a little bit early in the bit, you know, but after that, she's kind of relaxed in the backside. And, Today, when he broke, and she's very comfortable there, and I let him be. She's go comfortable the whole way around. And the last time she got run down, is, was it this turf course? She seems to love it. She's perfect here. Yes, yeah, you kind of like more the giving, giving turf a little bit. Last time, I think it's too hard, and the other filly got it right in the end, you know. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. Great ride. And, David, I know that uh, this has been a longtime favorite of the Cassies. They've got to be happy about this. She loves this turf course. What did you think of the race? Oh, it was a fantastic race. Uh, what was it? Ozzy rode her beautifully. Uh, all credit goes to Norman and his team. She came down to me during the week. We schooled her. She uh, settled in well, uh, but uh, their preparation. And we're just so happy for the Oxys and for her to get a grade one winner and redeem herself. Maybe uh, some people might have doubted her, but she showed her true colors today, and we couldn't be any happier. She did show her true colors. Congratulations, David LaCoronel, winner of the QE2. Thank you. Thank you, Good job.